Hello, hello, how are you? Welcome on in. If you're watching this on the replay, go ahead and put hashtag replay in the comment section. But if you're watching this live, go ahead and let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm gonna give it just a couple of minutes. I know this is totally random, but don't worry. Holy Spirit said, hop on here now. So I was like, you got it, sir. So I'm on this live because the Holy Spirit told me to tell you this. Are you ready? Put ready in the comment section or let me know where you're joining on from. This is wild, guys. We already hit 50 and I'm just on here. But the Holy Spirit told me to tell you this. So, hey, 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 Paris, how are you? Hey, Davin, how are you? I saw you sneak on here, Rain. How are you? So the Holy Spirit told me to tell you this and I'm so excited because you're just gonna, I hope that you cry like I cried because I cried like a baby. Paris is tuning in here from Texas, ready from Jamaica, ready. Hey Kim, how are you? Hey Lindsay, Re Lindsay says ready. Okay guys, hey Amanda, ready from Kentucky. If you're ready, put ready. Holy Spirit told me to tell you this. I almost wanna cry now, but I'm not gonna cry now. Um, I'm going to allow the Holy Spirit to minister through me. We have Nigeria in the building, South Africa. I'm coming to both Nigeria and South Africa. I'm gonna tell you that right now, okay? I don't know when, but I am. All right, are you ready? Are we ready? Perfect. So, how is everyone? I just feel like I need like some coffee. I'm just kidding, let me stop, let me stop. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, Mikala? North Carolina, perfect. I've been crying all day too, God is so gracious. Stone Mountains, ooh. Okay, so we're ready, okay? We're ready. So yesterday, was that yesterday? Yesterday, are you with me? It's gonna be a little bit of a story time, but you're gonna be blessed by this. Yesterday I was driving in the car and um, I wasn't driving in my neighborhood. I was driving in a completely different neighborhood in a completely different city. And um, as I drove past this intersection, I saw a turtle. I saw like a little black object and I was like, what is that? And then I drove past it and I saw, that's a turtle. And if you know me, please don't come for me, but me and animals, we don't really get along. And so I was just driving, I was like, oh, that's a turtle. And I kept driving. And I don't know what in me told me to stop, turn around, and go get the turtle. But I was like, I guess I'm getting a turtle today. And not to keep it, but just listen to this whole entire revelation that the Holy Spirit wanted me to tell literally to you. Okay, so just put a turtle emoji in the comment section because a turtle. So I turned my car around. And as I turned my car around, another lady had turned her car around and pulled over to the side of the road. There was another turtle, but on her side. So it's a two lane road and on my way, I'm coming this way and I was like, is that a turtle? And then the Holy Spirit said, turn around, get the turtle. So I was like, I'm gonna get the turtle, I guess. And then the lady driving this way had stopped her car and put on her flashers um, cause she saw a turtle. And so we both get out of our cars about the same time and she sees that turtle and she picks it up and I'm like, Oh wow, and a turtle. So she's taking the turtle over to the lake because there's two big lakes on each side of this, um, of the road. And so she takes the turtle over to the lake and I go and I go get the other turtle. This is such a good revelation. So I'm going across the street, across the intersection to get the turtle. And this big black truck also saw the turtle. And so he stops his truck and he's like, hey, I'm gonna keep my truck parked right here so you can go get it so nobody like in oncoming traffic hits you. And so he parks his truck to where I can go and get the turtle. And y'all, um, I'm a girly girl. So I was like, oh my gosh, a turtle, okay. So I go to pick up this turtle and I walk it across the street. And um, I walked the, the turtle across the street and it would, I was gonna take it to the lake on the left side, but the guy said, I think it's better that you take it to the other side um where the other lady was so there's two lakes remember and there's two lanes are you with me you're with me so i go pick up the turtle which is guys okay let me stop i pick up the turtle and i give the turtle to the lady because my children are in the car she's like hey i can go ahead and take that from you if you want i can take him from you if you want is it a girl or a boy and i'm like it's a turtle and so i give her the turtle and she's like i just put another one over there 
and she takes the turtle from me and she's like oh thank you so much i'm so glad that you stopped and got this turtle and so she takes it across the lake and she puts the turtle in the lake with the other one all right and so i get in my car and i drive down the road and i'm just driving i'm almost to my destination and i'm just like holy spirit speak and i kind of said it like what was that about god and then he literally began to speak to me and i just began to cry like boo cry so let me give you the revelation that comes along with this if you're just hopping on here um hey in the day how are you if you're just hopping on here i was driving down the road and i saw a turtle and i turned around to go get the turtle and i picked it up and i took it across the street and i gave it to a lady and she put it in the lake with the other turtle because she had seen a turtle on her side of the road all right so what is this revelation that literally just hit me like a ton of bricks no ma'am it hit me like a ton of bricks what is this revelation i said speak holy spirit and he said baby girl i'm just waiting for you to cross over i gotta say it slow so you get it the turtle came from the lake on on the left side and the turtle had crossed the road and was on the side of the road and the lord is waiting for you simply to move for you simply to cross over and he said there is help on the other side i just need you to cross i just need you to do it and so the turtle didn't know that i was the help i just came and the holy spirit unctioned in me to go and pick up that turtle and to top it all off that truck had stopped in the middle of the road the truck stopped and he said, I'm going to stop traffic right now for you so you can pick up that turtle and you can take it across to that other lake. And so I went and I picked up that turtle. He stopped all of traffic. The Lord is willing to stop all of everything for you. He said, but baby, I need you to trust me just to cross over. And so that turtle crossed from one lake to the other side of the lake. And by the time it had crossed over and it was a curb, so picture road, median, road, lake. Lake, road, median, road, lake. And so that turtle crossed over to the other side. Didn't know how it was going to get up the median, I'm sure. But I came in at the right time, picked it up, and then I took it across. And he said, not only am I waiting for you to cross over so that I can have your help come in and help you get to where you need to go, but I'll also position other help for you. And so I handed her, I handed the turtle off to the lady and the lady gladly took the, the turtle over to the other side of the lake where the other turtle was. So on the other side of your crossing over, there is not only help, but there is more help. And there's not only more help, but you are going to be with other people that God has already preordained for you to be with. Man, when I tell you baby crying, driving like, you would do that for me? And God is just so good. Ah, I just had to get that out that, wow, the revelation from just simply an act of obedience. And you guys know, I love to talk about obedience. So OMG, how could that happen just from a turtle crossing the road? Let me give it to you one more time if you're just hopping on here. I was driving down the road and I saw a turtle. So picture this, you know, nice road and there's a lake on the left side. Then there's a road of traffic coming this way. There's a median with trees in the middle. And then there's a road going this way. Then there's a lake on the other side. And so I'm driving and I see this turtle and I say, is that a turtle? And I pull over and I'm like, let me go get the turtle. So I go and get the turtle so that way it doesn't get crushed. And um, I pick it up. And at the same time, a lady on the other side of the road was picking up another turtle. So she took her turtle and came back. By the time I had my turtle, um, I wrote the turtle that I found I gave it to her she said here I'll take it from you and she took the turtle and went and put it in the lake now what is that beautiful revelation um, hello Naomi that beautiful revelation is the Lord is waiting for you to cross over he's waiting for you to do the thing you might not see where your help comes from but you have to know that your help comes from the Lord as I went to go pick up the turtle a man in a big black truck stopped in the middle of the road all of traffic so I can go safely pick up the turtle. 
and cross over with the turtle got carried and that's the whole thing once you cross over the lord is carrying you there's no big extra work and there's no fight and everything that you're trying to do you cross over and then the lord literally sends in help and i picked up the turtle went across the road and the lady was right there waiting for me so there's somebody else waiting for you on the other side of your obedience, of you crossing over. I handed her the turtle and then she took it from there and she went and she put it in the lake to be with the other turtle. How beautiful. And the Lord would say to you, baby, I'm just waiting for you to cross over. Son, daughter, I'm just waiting for you to cross over. I've already sent your help. Your help has already turned around and went to be on their way to come and pick you up and then to hand you off to your other destiny helper. And that person will take you over the rest of the side of the road and then will put you where you're supposed to be at, at this point in time in your life. But you must walk in obedience, you must walk in faith. He's willing to stop all the traffic for you. He's willing to tell somebody to turn their car around for you he is willing to tell somebody to pause, to wait. The lady could have gotten her car and just been like, oh, well, she's got it from here. But she said, hey, I can take that from you. The Lord is wanting you to take time and cross over. Somebody said, how do you know when the right time is to cross over? How do you know when to cross over? You are walking with your Abba. You are going with your Abba. He will tell you when. You're going in obedience. If you want to amplify the voice of God in your life, you can do so by being radically obedient. By saying, I don't know, but I feel like the Lord said, I guys, y'all know me. One, animals and me, we don't get along. We don't. So for me to go pick up a turtle, I'm sorry, what? But I just wanted to tell you that I did that. I went and picked up the turtle and the turtle when I got up close to it it had like slimy like moss and everything and I was like okay here we go and I picked it up <laughs> and I went and uh, took the turtle across the street and then the other lady was already waiting to take the turtle across the other side of the street so wow 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 that turtle crossed over risked a lot of things you know, it risk is it, going to have to take some risk. I, let me just tell you that right now. You're going to have to be a risk taker. Faith and risk taker is in the same sentence, okay? There's no faith without taking a risk. I, I feel like I heard the Lord say this. I felt this unction in my spirit to do this. God keeps showing me this time and time again. Take the risk. Take the leap of faith is really what I'm saying because it's not a risk if you're trusting your father. But the more that you walk in obedience, the more amplified the voice of God will be in your life. And the more you do obedient things, God will prove himself time and time again. Amen. That was such a good, just, oh goodness. Even me being obedient, I was blessed from picking up a turtle from the middle of the road and then having enough hmm, reverence and fear of the Lord to stop and to say, Holy Spirit, what were you saying? I could have just drove home and been like, I saved a turtle. I saved a turtle. Like, no, I was like, Holy Spirit, that was a mo that was a moment. You know, that was a moment for him and I to commune. So I said, Holy Spirit, what are you saying? I just picked up a turtle and took it across the street. And he's like, I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you, ah, God is so good. That God is so good. Um, I saw your message, it's Jen Santa, and I'll give you a message back. Um, don't worry. The only way a turtle makes progress is when it sticks its head out. Oop, oop, that's a good word. Huh, look at that. Prophetic flow is flowing. <laughs> I love that. The only way a turtle will make progress is if it sticks its head out, looks around, and goes, okay? And the turtle could have been like, it's going to take me all day to get across this street. And the God, the Lord, or the God, the Lord already had helpers lined up. The Lord already had helpers lined up. 
amen 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 so i was making this into a reel and literally the holy spirit said go live right now and i was like anytime i go live in the middle of the day i promise you it's 15 people almost immediately there were 60 people on here who I'm sure needed to hear this word. So again, radical obedience. The more that you exercise the radical obedience, the more you will be um, training yourself to be sensitive to the voice of the Lord. Okay, so I hope that blessed you. I, I am doing great, Ethan, how are you? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here. I don't feel the Lord saying anything else to, um, to say right now, but thank you so much for popping on here if this word blessed you just go ahead and put some fire emojis in the comment section if you felt like yes 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 you can put fires and turtles <laughs> because god just used a turtle to speak to not only me but to you and so i'm gonna go ahead and repost this um everybody just go ahead and sound the alarm for sound the alarm raise up a shout a trumpet for Ethan he said he recently turned Christian hallelujah just know Ethan that all of heaven is rejoicing over your salvation heaven is so excited and elated to know that you have made that commitment what is the next thing that you can do Ethan you can my alarm went off so sorry what is the next thing that you can do Ethan you can go get baptized um, go to church and a church that does baptism go get baptized that is the full submission underwater to go down under and to be brought back up again um so we're super excited for you ethan after you get baptized go and buy yourself a bible buy yourself a bible to celebrate hey tiffany how are you um we're sounding the trumpet and hey ethan we'll be praying for your parents right now let's go ahead and cover ethan in prayer he says, but his parents are still Muslim. We're going to go ahead and just cover him in prayer that he, in the name of Jesus, will not be disowned. That he, in the name of Jesus, he, in the name of Jesus, will retain his faith. So, Father, right now, we just lift up your son, Ethan. Father, we thank you right now for just letting him be on this live. We thank you, Lord, that your word says that one could put a thousand to flight, two, ten thousand to flight. So, Father, right now, every angel that has been assigned to Ethan's name, we're just asking, Father God, that you would set them on their course to be able to guard and protect his life. May a wall of fire be round about Ethan in the name of Jesus. Father, may it not be his story that anything happened to him because of becoming a Christian, but that that everything right went right for him father that everything in his mind was corrected father that his footsteps were ordered father because he has accepted you as his personal lord and savior lord we're just praying for the salvation of his parents that father right now you would be going in and sending his help lord from the north east south and west to be at his side father that you would send people to begin to drop seeds and to water them in his parents life to where they begin to go and see who is this man named jesus Jesus, who is the Messiah? Who is Christ? Father, we're praying that in his parents' spirit, he, they will begin to have dreams and visions of you, Lord Jesus, because your word says in Acts 2, 17, in the last days, you would pour out your spirit over all flesh, that your sons and that the sons and daughters would prophesy, the old men would dream dreams, and the young men would see visions. Father, may that be Ethan and his brother's portion, that they would see visions and have dreams, Lord, that they would give their life over to you, Father, that they would find a community of Christians that would welcome Welcome them, Lord, and that you begin to minister to his parents by way of their dreams that Jesus Christ is the only way. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And Father, nobody comes to the Father except by Jesus. So Father, we thank you. We pray right now that Ethan would have his full armor of God on, that Lord, he begin to be fed um, through by way of your Holy Spirit and through the word of God, Lord, that he would not turn to the right or to the left, but he would keep his eyes fixed on you lord we're praying for grace and favor favor with you lord and favor with men over ethan father and that you would just begin to minister to him that you would give him a peace that surpasses all understanding and father his testimony would be like that of paul that he did not learn this from anybody except for by way of the holy spirit would you baptize ethan in your holy spirit with fire father and would you give him boldness lord jesus and safety and protection 
protection as he goes forth, Lord, proclaiming your name. We love you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, we're praying. Amen. Let's go ahead and put some amens in the comment section. We just prayed over Ethan. If you, if his name, uh, if his name comes to mind again throughout the week, I want you to just pray for Ethan um, and pray for his safety, pray for his mind, pray for his salvation, um, that he retains all the knowledge and wisdom that he's learning about Christ and that his parents come to know Christ Jesus. Amen. See, Holy Spirit's never wrong. He said, get on the live right now, even if it was just for Ethan to cover him. Hallelujah. Okay, the Lord blesses you too. May he keep you and his face shine upon you and give you peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, watch my stories for updates. If you're not in Fix Your Focus, join Fix Your Focus. The link is also in my stories because God is doing a brand new thing and we're here for it. Hallelujah to God be the glory. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.